right, hello everyone. Gary Ryan here with you for the Fed League Flash on a Monday. All uh, right, uh, before we get into today's video, just want to mention that I'm um, going to be doing a video, a short one tomorrow. I want to uh, kind of give you uh, a list, uh, a, a, a compilation of uh, some very decent uh, podcasts and website, uh, like vlog websites to check out that are related to uh, hockey and the FPHL and minor pro. So uh, make sure to tune in for that. Um, I wish there were more on this list, uh, especially in regards to teams uh, in the Fed, but you know, maybe that's something that uh, will build over time. So, um, yeah, I'm far from the only person that is doing content here. Um, and I'm not going to try and one up on somebody else because everybody has their own taste. So um, I'm going to give you a list of some of the other podcasts that I've come across and uh, Hey, maybe one of these will be something you really enjoy. But anyway, today we want to talk about goalies. And um, this goes back to a couple of days ago where I was talking about Nick Nider. And uh, unfortunately, I, I had not done my research beforehand um, in, in regards to uh, content with uh, other goalies in the Fed from the early years of the Fed. And so uh, after doing some research, I was like, wow, you know, there's been a lot of great goalies and uh, some that I was unfamiliar with. And uh, well, now I'm familiarizing myself with them. So anyway, we're going to be looking at um, top 10 list as far as goalies with wins. Um, and usually it also cor correlates with um, uh, how many games they played or how many minutes they played. And I've got a couple active goalies, uh, on here as far as, you know, where they fall on the list. But anyway, uh, yeah, Matt Anthony. Oh my goodness. Uh, here's a guy played for the Thousand Island Privateers and Danville Dashers only played for five years, but, uh, what, uh, an amazing five years it was 103 wins uh he ended up compiling a record of 103 75 and 19 so i mean this guy was between the pipes almost every single night uh 359 goals against a 901 save percentage uh matt anthony was really one of the uh first uh you know, big time goalies for the fphl all right uh, next on the list, uh, we have Jocelyn St. Pierre, uh, played for, uh, the Thousand Island Privateers again, uh, played for the Brooklyn Aviators, the Danville Dashers, um, he had some time with Watertown, with, uh, Cornwall, with Dayton Demolition, seven years all told, so he ended up compiling 157 appearances, um, over 8,200 minutes, 73 wins, uh, is what, uh, St. Pierre ended up, uh, posting. Now, Mike Brown, uh, I put him in green just because he was a special case, uh, so to speak. Um, of the goalies that are on this list, uh, Mike Brown is the only one that was actually drafted by an NHL club. Uh, Mike Brown was drafted uh, 153rd overall by the Boston Bruins in the 2003 draft. Uh, even played 10 games for the Providence Bruins in the AHL. Um, over 125 games, he ended up uh, winning 72 games, uh, a 3.00 goals against, and a 918 save percentage. Uh, Mike Brown had... Uh, a very short career, only played three years, all with Danbury Whalers. Um, his overall career was a uh, decent length, but uh, his time in the Fed was uh, relatively short. All right, 
And then we ha get to the aforementioned Nick Nider. Uh, again, uh, here's the guy who was around the longest, 12 years altogether, eight teams. He played for all three different Danbury teams. And don't forget, they all were different. Um, it wasn't just a rebrand. Uh, you had the Whalers, you had the Danbury Titans, and then the Hat Tricks came around a couple years later. So, yeah, eight teams, 12 years all together, 8,500-some 80, uh, minutes, uh, 65 wins, um, played for some you know, teams that were struggling, so his numbers aren't the best. But again, he was the model of longevity uh, for uh, Fed goalies. Uh, then we go to Troy Passingham. Um, and uh, you know, what an amazing story he's been. He's been playing overseas the last couple of years. And from what I understand, loves it. Um, and that's where his heart is. Uh, he played for the Danville Dashers and the Elmira Enforcers, 102 appearances all time in the fed and he ended up with 52 wins so um so we have those five so that brings us to our first active goalie on the list uh chris pollen 51 wins so far in 93 games played um so far pollen has 345 goals against and a 908 save percentage for his career and uh Two wins will move him up the list past Passingham. And uh, I, I'm hoping to see uh, you know, if he can get 15 wins this year. Uh, he might be able to pass Niter in the win column uh, this year. All right. Right after Chris uh, on the win list, then we go to Matt Kaloudis. Uh, played four years, played for the Berlin River Drivers, um, the Danville Dashers, and Watertown. 116 appearances altogether, 47 wins. Um, he's the only one that's on this list that has uh, has more losses than wins. Um, but, uh, you know, that doesn't mean that he wasn't a go good goaltender. He just uh, ended up in some tough spots. But uh, 47, 53, and 10 was his uh fed record and uh yeah, 374 goals against a 902 save percentage all right uh moving on to our next active goalie and that is christian pavlas who is going to be presumably the number one guy for the blue ridge bobcats this year pavlas um he's played uh four years 77 uh total appearances so far. He's got a record of 46, 22, and 5. Um, he's got the, one of the best GAAs here. Um, 2.92, uh, a 908 save percentage. Uh, Pavlas had the best season of a goalie in Fed history, um, posting a 1.77 uh, record with the Carolina Thunderbirds a couple of years ago. Um, won 30 games, went 33 and two in that one season. Um, just tremendous, tremendous year that uh, Pavlas had. Uh, of course, last year he was with the uh, the Columbus uh, River, River Dragons, uh, backing up Braden Colgan. So um, let's see, who else do we have on the list? Uh, Jared Rutledge, he's played a few years, uh, four years, Watertown and Columbus River Dragons. And uh, in 94 appearances, um, he posted a record of 43, 36, and 3. Um, and uh, 403 goals against. So he's got the highest goals against of any team here. But uh, still, you know, he ended up winning more games than he lost. So uh, those were some high scoring affairs. Um, 894 save percentage for Jared Rutledge. And our last. Uh, active goalie on the list is Brian Wilson. In two years, uh, Wilson has uh, accomplished uh, what a lot of goalies <laughs> couldn't accomplish in many years. Um, and he gets put in the top 10 with wins. Uh, Brian Wilson, 57 games played altogether over two years. Um, 
42, 10, and 5 is his record. Uh, he's got a 2.8 goals against, which is the best of anyone so far, a 913 save percentage. Um, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Um, and Brian Wilson uh, obviously is uh, a very high caliber goalie. Um, we're not sure, you know, what the future might hold. You know, he might, uh, he's one of these goalies that might end up um, going up the, the line to either the SPHL or the ECHL. He has backed up in a couple of AHL games as well. So, um, you know, there's a lot of talent that's here. Um, and, you know, it, it kind of lends, uh, lends credence to what we talked about a couple days ago. Um, you know, again, the, the design of the FPHL is to uh, give players a chance to continue their playing career, improve their skill set, move up the, the ladder uh, with the professional ranks. And uh, a lot of players have done that. Um, and uh, so there's no reason to think that uh, you're going to be seeing any other goaltender coming through the Fed right now, even coming close to approaching 103 wins by Matt Anthony. And, and that, again, was in five seasons. Um, Anthony was tremendous. Um, and, and when I went looking through his numbers and, you know, some of the game reports, uh, just incredible, incredible, incredible. So anyway, uh, this is uh, my attempt to, um, you know, properly retract and, uh, you know, pay some homage to some of the great goalies in Fed history. All right. So um, a lot of new goalies coming into the league this next year. Um, we've definitely seen a shift um, from last year to this year as far as uh, a lot of goalies that were here in the Fed last year um, moving up the line, uh, whether it's the SPHL or the ECHL or overseas. We're seeing a lot of young talent coming in. Um, I mean, even as young as uh, you know, the Watertown Wolves have in their, on their roster and in their camp, uh, Josh Rosenvig. And uh, here's a guy that is barely 20 years old. Already comes in, though, with a very high pedigree. So uh, we will see... Uh, you know, if he starts this year with Watertown or uh, if he gets other opportunities, we shall see. All right, so that's a little bit about goalies. Remember to tune in tomorrow here. Uh, normally, I would just do a Spotify podcast, but since uh, I'm going to have um, website addresses and links, I want to have this on video so you guys can see this. Jot down a couple that you say, hey, that's pretty interesting. I want to check that out. So um, make sure to tune in for that. All right. I'm Gary Ryan for the Fed League Flash. Thank you so much for watching me. And uh, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Keep following Facebook. And uh, also remember Spotify. Uh, right now, Thursday is uh, the planned Spotify podcast. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.